Hi FlossTube! My name is Jennifer. I'm the Calculated Stitcher. Welcome to my channel. This is FlossTube number 16, I do believe. I'm not really sure what the date is. I know it's in November. I know my birthday is next Thursday. I'm so excited. I'm going to be 50 minus 1. My husband gets to be 50 in February, so he gets to be 10 months before I am, but that's okay. I don't begrudge him that. Um, life updates. We had a wonderful Thanksgiving. The only person who wasn't able to make it in was uh, my second oldest son, and oh, who I and then my who I call my new daughter, Ashley, and then their baby. Um, they couldn't get off work, and so they couldn't come in. So that was sad. But then the rest of my family, my brother and my sister, their kids, everybody got to come in. So it was wonderful to see everybody. Um, we go back to school this next week and we only have three more weeks of this semester and then it'll be Christmas time which I am not ready for by any means but that's okay I I'll get there I mean I haven't even pulled out Christmas decorations I, I just my my house is in disarray right now and um, like I have boxes everywhere and one of my daughters just moved out and um, so we're left with one child now it's kind of strange my son that's a senior but um, I just, and this is this is a new room that, in which I am filming. I filmed in this room last year, I think it was, when I did the 12 Days of Christmas. And so she moved out, and this was the room she was in. <coughs> Sorry, allergies. Um, and this is now become, is going to be a guest bedroom. There's going to be a bed right here right behind me once I go buy one. And... But it's become my paper craft room is what I've decided to call it. So I can do my journaling and um, scrapbook, anything call it that I can do in here. And that way I was able to then separate my sewing from my paper craft because my paper craft was like in the way when I wanted to sew. I need to be able just to, if I need to sew, just, you know, be able to just walk up and to my sewing machine and get to go in and not have to move everything out of the way and set everything up so um it's really nice it's going to be nice i mean but right now my floor is covered i'm trying to sort and organize but when you sort and organize it just makes everything a big mess and um here i'll show you okay now don't get sick and i'm going to come over here and i'm going to come down here and you can see, see all that? That's me trying to sort and go through things. Okay, I'm moving you slowly in hopes not to make you seasick. Okay, I think that's okay. All right, I couldn't even find my stand. Well, it's actually my son's stand to put my phone on. That's how I usually record. Uh, I don't even know where it is. I don't know where anything is. In fact, I looked, I uh, overlooked two thank you cards. And part of that, though, was because my son, he was so excited. He gets really excited when people send me things. And um, my mother was over sitting on the couch, and he was sitting on the floor, and he was showing her, um, oh, and look at this one, and look at this one. And and then one of my subscribers said something, One of the, she had won a giveaway and sent a thank you card. And I had said something about, well, maybe this is the one that had the Starbucks card, because I knew one had I, you know, I had opened it, I had read it, and I couldn't remember, and anyway, so when she said that, I started looking, I thought, oh my gosh, I've put it in a box, and all of this stuff that's piled everywhere, I thought I'm never going to find this thank you card, and I found two, so I'm going to go over that today, and um, hopefully those are the only two that I missed, I feel, I felt so badly. Um, I remember getting it, I just didn't know, anyway, it was under the couch, did I say that? Anyway, so I finally found it when I was vacuuming, cleaning, when everybody left, and I found it under the couch. Two, two thank you cards were under there. So, anyway, um, life updates. Um, other than Thanksgiving, we're just about the same, same old, same old. Other than my daughter moved out, and now I, I'm switching rooms and doing things like that. And she moved back to Lubbock, so now we have two at Lubbock. And my youngest child, who is still at home, he's 17, he got his acceptance letter to Texas Tech, and he's just beyond thrilled. He's so excited. He also applied to ACU, which one of my daughters attended for, I think she went there a year, 
and then she decided it was like going to a big high school. She wanted to go to a big university. And I wish she would have stayed because we loved ACU. I mean, absolutely loved every everything about it. So um, now the only way we can afford for our kids to go to ACU is if they get a full scholarship, which she had gotten an academic scholarship. And so if he gets one, then I, I don't know where he'll choose to go. We'll see. It's kind of hard now when you can't go tour the campuses like you used to. Um, it's kind of hard for the kids to get a sense of that. Although with the two children at Tech, um, we're just going to go up there and they can walk them around and show them everything. And in the spring, if any of their classes are in class, because I know one, I think only one of theirs, this one of my daughters, this uh, semester was actually on campus, like in class. The rest were all virtual. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping she'll be able to walk him around. And she said if any of her classes were actually in person that she could take him with her. So we'll see how that goes. It's just kind of sad. Basketball has started, which means my life is not my own, which it usually isn't anyway. Um, it's hard to find time to do anything. Very little stitching. Haven't worked at all on my journals. I have Christmas gifts I need to finish and it's just like, I don't know. It's, it's fine. I just, it's all going to be okay. I just keep telling myself that. Anyway, so let's get started. I think I will start with my whips, which I had right here and now I can, okay. My main whip and my goal is to finish this by my birthday and my birthday is next Thursday. I'm very excited. I'm going to be 50 minus one. Now I've done this video. I think this is now my eighth time. So uh, I said that in one of the previous ones. I don't know if I said it in this one. Anyway, so I'm going to be 50 minus one next Thursday, I do believe it is. And I want to have this finished. And when I finish it, because I want to have it finished so I can start another one of Teresa Vanette's Shakespeare Peddler um, uh, charts, which I'll talk about. I'm gonna do a video on my birthday. This is the Jenny Bean for the Parlor series, and I'm on the last and I think there were seven, eight, eight. There are eight of them. And it's a band sampler. And I have this tree to write about here. I still need the leaves at the top. I have finished the house. And then I just have this. So I just need to finish this and a little bit of this tree right here by Thursday. And I'm crossing my fingers, hoping it works. And this is where I am. Well, Jennifer, let's move that thread. We'll go to that side. So this is where I am. So all I have left, like I said, is that part right here. And so I'm going to stitch the rest of the night. I really should be working on my math for next week. Um, I have, most of my classes are all planned for. They're really the only one I need to plan for is um, Algebra 1. And I know I have the notes ready. I just don't know if I writ, wrote the assignment or not. I can't remember. So I'll check it in a minute. Anyway, so that's one. And the only other thing I have worked on, what did I do with it? Sorry. I was moving stuff and I got everything piled here, but I didn't do my whips. The only other thing I have worked on since I spoke with you last is something that's for my mother for Christmas. So mom, if you watch this, I don't know. She never tells me if she does. Uh, look away, look away. This is what I'm making for my mom for Christmas. And I'm hoping I get it completed. This is the name of it. I hope I have it completed in time. And it's on a piece of, I like, leftover fabric. I don't know what it is, but it's 40 count because I counted it. And this is how far I've gotten. Now, the only time I've worked on this is when I'm in the car. Like we went to, when we go to church or, oh, we did go to um, state cross country. My husband is a cross country coach for our school. And one of his girls, um, advanced the state competition and so 
I worked on it all the way to Austin and then I worked on it in the hotel room, worked on it all the way back. So that was part of our Thanksgiving break right there. <laughs> so, okay, those are my only whips. That's all I have. Then I have a little bit of haul, not very much. Um, I found this designer, um, her, she's on Etsy. It's Delaney Woods Treasures and this is her information and if you like primitive things you're going to love this here's her Etsy here's her name and um, email but she has some beautiful things and I saw this and it reminded me of a stitching friend and I'm going to make this for that friend for next year is my goal. These are buttons. So I went ahead and bought the buttons also. Here are the buttons. Let's see if I do this. You can see them. See? The little spiders. That's their bodies. Isn't that the cutest thing? So I'm not a big Halloween person, but I love things that look kind of vintagey, and I think that one does. So that is one of my items in my haul. Hold on one second because I have to put it away or I'll lose things. Um, normally I would just stack it up but I want to put the buttons in there and I don't want to lose them. So, Okay, so now I showed you so I can put it away. Then I ordered from what's the name of this store? They didn't send me um, a uh, like a receipt inside the bag and I've already thrown the bag away. I can't remember, but when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. This is Rocking Horse Holiday by Artful Offerings. Isn't it beautiful? Actually, I think I ordered this from artfulofferings.com. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I do love this. I didn't even look yet at it. Let's see. It's, um... It was stitched with general arts, I think. <laughs> I don't know. It has it has both. It has the DMC in it. So I'm sure it was probably stitched with general arts. And so then this is also artful offerings. It's cranberry Christmas. Which I think is super cute. This one's with Weeks Dye Works and DMC. And this one, I am not even attempting to, to pronounce this is the company. And the title is Believe in Christmas. But isn't that just cute? I love that Santa. He looks Parisian to me, but maybe not. Maybe uh, Italian. Probably. So I got those. So now I can put those away. Then I ordered from Misty Purcell's Etsy shop, Luminous Fiber Arts, and she has the cutest little ornaments out. And so I went ahead and ordered two of them. And when I get paid, I'm going to order the rest of them because I also ordered some linen. So that took out some of my, my, um, budget. I hate the word so much. I couldn't even remember what it was. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so this one is really cute. Uh, this one is called Christmas in the Kitchen Cocoa. And this one is Christmas in the Kitchen Tea. Isn't that one cute? And then here are the others, which I will get. And then I also got, this is 36 count fathom. And, ooh, that looks very green. It's not green at all. It's not green. It's a uh, very dark, like gray blue. Oh, isn't that weird? In real life, it's not that color. 
we'll see when I actually post the video. Sometimes the color looks differently than from when I showed it. Anyway, I thought this would be a great one for um, Liz Matthews new one of her new charts that's like almost monochromatic and I was gonna do it in white like the white silky because it's thicker thread so I'm hoping that will look good so I got that and that is all believe it or not that is all the haul that I have for stitching now I did well no well technically this is still stitching related I went ahead and got the uh, book of days and it's just a calendar. I do love calendars and planners. So I, I really want to be more diligent in keeping track of my stitching in here. So hopefully that goes well. I got that. Now that's the last of the stitching. And then the only other thing I got was this cute, it's a quilt and it's a block of the month that I'm doing from the quilt spot. It's in New Jersey. Um, they mail me once a month the fabric to do um, a portion of the quilt. So that's what I have gotten. I just got the second one in like this last week sometime, the second, and it's like 12 months. So I'm hoping to have it ready for my grandson next Christmas. Now, I cannot even start working on this because I have so much that has to get done before Christmas, but I so want to start working on it. They sent me some of the greens. So, the, these like lime greeny dinosaurs. I really would like to sew some, but I'm not. Okay, that's all my haul. I did have, oh, technically, you know, I made this. I was going to show you. I know this is not a journaling video. I'm just going to show you I made it. I'm really proud of myself. Um, this is just a journal and I made it out of scrapbook paper and it's, it just houses. I made it like this and it has pockets so you can put things in it. I don't even know what this is. I have to figure it out. And then I made these, this is, you just put like ephemera and stuff inside the pockets. And so these are all just little pockets. And then pockets in the back. And I sewed them in. So I was really proud of myself. That's the first one. I don't know what this is. One moment, please, because i got to see what this is. Winter time. Oh, okay. Now I know what it is. It's a receipt. Okay, so then, thank you cards. So Teresa, poor Teresa, she sent me this beautiful card. It has glitter on it. Isn't it cute? I can't wait to put this in my correspondence journal. That's what I'm calling it to sound all fancy. And she also sent me, I had to hide this from my daughters or they would have taken it. So thank you so much, Teresa. I thanked her privately, but I want to thank her publicly now. Um, didn't have to at all. It's just the sweetest thing. And then I can't remember if I showed this one. This is from, look how pretty this is. I love these colors. Isn't that lovely? Um, this is from Melissa. She was also, she was a winner of one of my giveaways. So she sent me a thank you card and thank you so much. I love them. So once I have time, I can work on my correspondence journal and my thank you cards go right here now. So they're just gonna go right over there in a basket when I'm finished until I can put them in the journal. All right, looking around, I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, that's really all I have today. So it's super, super short, but um, I think I may post another video when I where I go through uh, my Kit It Up projects and show you what all I have. And I also need to do a whip parade because I kind of would like to get, I don't, I don't have the data. Like I don't actually know how many whips I have. And so I would kind of like to know that also. So I may do a whip parade also since um, December is coming up and, you know, it's time for reflection and, and looking forward to the new year and getting things under control. Although I have so learned when I say, this is my plan, this is what I'm going to do. I don't do it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. 
Oh, and another thing. When I said December 3rd was my birthday, there were like four or five other people who said that their birthdays were December 3rd. I think we should have like a birthday club. And I told, um, I think um, Kindred Stitcher said that's her birthday also. And I said, well, I would do a sal with you, but I am the world's worst at keeping up with it. Like, I, I just, I never, because I never know what's going on, like sports-wise and kids doing stuff. Um, how much time I'm actually going to have. And she wrote back and she said, neither is she. So it's kind of nice to, you know, know that there are people out there who can't do it all either. I, I watched some of these false two people. And like, if you watch Pam and Steph, I mean, they are on top of it. They are, you know, this is my plan. This is what I'm doing. And they do it. And I would love to be like that. And um, I can make lots of plans. I just can't seem to stick to them. At school, I can. I, I have plans. And I do not veer. I mean, I am dead on. But for some reason, when it comes to crafting and stuff, um, I think that's why you have to have something that's that's not stressful. That's not, not so structured, maybe, if you're, the rest of your life is all structured. Although, looking around this room right now, there's no structure going on here. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Well, this is going to be a short one. Oh, I am going to um, turn the camera around and do the drawing for uh, the gifts that were not claimed from my last giveaway. So I'm going to use the YouTube uh, random comment picker and you can watch that while I do. And then if you're a winner, just email me at the email address listed below in the description box. And I feel like I'm forgetting something, but if I do, I'll just come back on and say it, I guess. All right. I hope y'all have a great rest of whatever's left of November. I don't even know the date since school. When it's when I'm not teaching, I have no idea what the date is. So um, I hope the rest of November is great and that December is the best month of this year. So um, uh, everybody be kind to one another, and I'll see you in just a minute. Oh, where's my thing? I have this, so I don't have to reach up and do it. Hold on, let me be all fancy. Okay, one moment. Okay, I'm gonna try this. We'll see how it goes. Um, the first thing I have to give away is this black Ada. Um, one person claimed it, but I drew, I drew three. And so I have two left to give away. So that's the first thing I'm going to get my YouTube comments. And it says 54 people were interested. So, and again, I did not get a piece of paper to write this down on. Okay, Deborah Carroll, congratulations. It says, love your floss tube. I would love, whoops, would love, and then she listed the numbers. Okay, so now, Jennifer, what are you going to do here? Okay, I'm going to try to hold you still. While I write this down. Oh. <laughs> Excuse the ripping. So, Deborah De Carol. All right. And then I need to pick another one. So, let me go back and get some more comments. And start. And the next winner is Sharon Davis. Congratulations. It says, I'm interested in number 15, 2, and 7, and 19. You are so generous. Well, thank you, Sharon. Shannon. Wow, Jennifer. Sorry, I took my reading glasses off. I'm really almost 50. <laughs> Can read better with my glasses. Okay. Congratulations, Shannon and Deborah, on winning your ADA. If you will just email me at the uh, email address listed below, I will get these shipped out to you. Okay, the next thing that was not claimed was number five, and it was this. Sorry, the sun's going down, so it's kind of hard to see. Um cute little dimensions kit so we're gonna go up here change this to five and get my comments 
and 67 we're interested in number five so we start Angela spring it all right Angela she's been watching me forever she's the sweetest thing says hey Jennifer great to see you again you poor girl working so hard I would have oops don't be blurry love to have my children taught by you all oh, isn't she sweet Oh, and she says that she's in the UK, but that's okay. I can ship it over there. We'll see how it goes. I think I just have to um, fill out some paperwork. So let me write this down. I'm trying to write it while not shaking you. So Angela, spring it. All right, Angela, just email me and I will get that mailed out to you. I'm really excited because I don't think I've ever mailed anything that's going to be like that. We'll see what they say to another country. That'll be exciting. Okay, next one is number 10. And this one was this beautiful, beautiful chart. It's a real thick, it's a bunch, because look at it. Isn't that beautiful? And I would love to have stitched this, but there's no way I'll ever get to it. So, and here we go. Number 10. Who is our winner? Sarah Brown. Congratulations. I think she's won something from me before. I know that name. No. Is she? I'm pretty sure she's ordered bags from me. Uh, I hope they're give y'all a raise at the school for all the extra work you do. I know. It's it's fine. Uh, yes, because she, yes, she has bought, she's like one of my main supporters. So congratulations, Sarah. I'm so glad you won something. Thank you for supporting me. <laughs> all right. And the last thing was whoop, this, um... What do they call this light? Um, hmm. Oh, I can't think of it. I have the the uh, booklet over there. Halo. Halo. That's what it is. Okay, number 19. And the winner did not claim that one either. So I'm going to pull another name. So we're on number 19. And 94 people were interested in this one. And the winner is Judy Redman. Congratulations. She said, this was my first time watching your video. You have some lovely cross stitch in progress. Well, thank you so much, Judy. Judy, I'm writing her down. Redmond. Light. All right. Thank you so much. So, so much for... All the nice, kind comments that y'all leave. I've really only had one comment ever that wasn't, and it wasn't really mean. It was just a little, a little mean, maybe. <laughs> Thank y'all so very much, though. Um, also, one of my winners, after my video I posted last, uh, and I said that some people hadn't claimed them, apparently she said she had sent me an email, and I never got it. So if you are one of my winners and you don't hear back from me, don't feel badly for like sending me another email because I don't know what's happening. But so she got her prize. So everything is, is fine. I mean, her give, giveaway. So, all right, ladies, um, if you are a winner, if you'll just email me at the email address below, I will get these mailed out this week. All right. Be kind to one another. Bye-bye.